I'm going to show you some exercises uh, for the abdominal area. First three exercises I'm going to show you uh, were proven to be the most effective for the abs by ACE, the American Council of Exercise. The, th the three are cycling sit-ups, so laying down, legs in the air, hands behind your head and aiming your shoulder towards your knee, not your elbow. Don't do this, okay? Try and keep your elbows out. The lower the legs, the harder it's going to be and then you can pick up the pace. If that's too much, you can bring your legs up a bit higher as such, okay? Or if you want, you can just do the legs by itself, all right? Number two uh, is straight leg crunches. Legs in the air, hands behind the head, squeeze up. All right, if that's too much for your back, then bend the legs. Level one of this will be heels here, like this. Level two, and then level three. And if you're coming back from injury or anything, you can have one leg down and one leg up, and you can do this like this, okay, if you need to. And then build up to full uh, straight leg sit-ups when you're crunching when you're ready. Number three, heels down, toes up, arms straight above your head, overloading the abs by having long lever length, squeezing up, chin away from the chest. Good technique. These three exercises were proven to be the top three by the ACE because um, they have least effect on the back but maximum effect on the abs. The first one, cycling setups, works the obliques and your abdominal rectus the best. Uh, than any, any of the others. Okay. Now, the ones I like to do are that they're quite challenging in the back, so you may find them difficult. But walk out plank from standing. Uh, you go down, straight into a plank position, hit the pad, and then you come back, stand right the way up, push the hips forward, down and up. That's the full version. If that's too difficult, you can do this from your knees. Go down to your knees. If you've got a back issue, go down to your knees, come up, down to your knees, come up. Or level one will be from here. Up. This would be level one. And then according to your fitness, as you get fitter, you can then progress to doing the full version. Um, I also like to do the CrossFit sit up. Some people don't like them, but I actually do. They do work the hip flexors, yes, but coming right the way up, I find them very effective for my core, but I understand why some people don't really like to do them because they think it places too much pressure on the back, but I've never had a back issue from doing them. And the last one, leg circles. Now this is a real overload exercise on the abdominal area. If you have a back issue, doing this with leg straights can be too difficult. So you should bend the legs, okay, and just do a small circle. You do about eight to ten circles one way, eight to ten circles the other. It's great for the obliques, great for the abdominal rectus, but it does pull on the back. Those exercises um, done 20 repetitions, for, uh, 15 if you're a beginner, 20, 25, 30 of each. Um, you want quality. It's all about quality. You don't want to be spending time doing hundreds of sit-ups. You want to do the minimal, but get the maximum out of them. Um, I hope that's helped, and uh, I'll see you again.